Welcome to another example of solving a two-step equation with fractions. In this example, we're going to keep the fractions in the equation and then solve this equation like any other two-step equation. In another video, we'll solve the same equation by first eliminating the fractions from the equation and then solving for x. Looking at the given equation, notice how the variable x is on the right side of the equation this time, which means to solve this equation, we're going to write the equation in the form some fraction or some number is equal to x. Since we have a two-step equation, we will first add or subtract to isolate the variable term, then multiply or divide to solve for the variable, and the last step will check our solution. And since the variable is on the right side, the variable term is x over four, so to undo this plus two-thirds, our first step will be to subtract two-thirds on both sides of the equation. So on the left side we'll have negative seven-eighths and then minus two-thirds equals on the right x divided by four plus two-thirds minus two-thirds. Notice how we subtracted two-thirds on both sides. The reason we did this is on the right side, two-thirds minus two-thirds is equal to zero. So now looking at the left side of the equation, to perform this subtraction, we will have to obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of eight and three, or the smallest number that's divisible by both eight and three. Well, eight and three don't share any common factors, and we can see from the multiples below that the least common multiple of three and eight would be 24. And since eight times three is equal to 24, we'll multiply this first fraction by three over three. And since three times eight is equal to 24, multiply this fraction by eight over eight. So now we have negative 21 24ths minus 16 24ths equals x divided by four. Notice how we have a common denominator, and since negative 21 minus 16 is equal to negative 37, we have negative 37 24ths equals x divided by four. Remember this fraction bar means division, so now to solve for x or undo this division, we'll now multiply both sides of the equation by four, and since this is in fraction form, we multiply by four over one. Again, the reason we're doing this is looking at the right side, since four over four simplifies to one, we're left, we're left with just x on the right, and then on the left side, notice that four and 24 share a common factor of four. There's one four and four, and six fours and 24, so our solution is x equals negative 37 six, which doesn't simplify, but this is an improper fraction, so let's also express this as a mixed number. Again, we have x equals negative 37 six, so we know as a mixed number this would also be negative. So to find the mixed number, we'll divide 37 by six. So 37 divided by six, there are six sixes in 37, since six times six is 36. Subtract, 37 minus 36 is one, which means negative 37 six is equal to negative six, and the remainder over the divisor, or negative six and one sixth. So this would be our solution expressed as a fraction and as a mixed number. Now to check this, we'd have to substitute negative 37 six for x into the equation and make sure the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. Let's go ahead and do that. So on the left we have negative seven eighths. Now remember this means x divided by four. Dividing by four is the same as multiplying by one fourth. And since x is equal to negative 37 six, I'm gonna write this as negative 37 six Again, instead of dividing by four, I'm gonna multiply by one-fourth, and then add two-thirds. So we have negative seven-eighths equals, nothing simplifies here, so we have negative 37 over 24. We want our denominator here to be 24, so we'll multiply by eight over eight. 
So that'd be plus 16 twenty fourths. So we have negative seven eighths equals, this would be negative 21 over 24. These two share a common factor of three, so the left side does simplify to negative seven eighths. Since negative 21 divided by three is negative seven, and 24 divided by three is eight. So we have negative seven eighths equals negative seven eighths. Verifying our solution is correct. That'll do it for this example, but remember we are going to solve this equation again by first clearing the fractions and then solving for x. Of course we'll find the solution is the same.